Hello, hello, hello. Vanessa, Namaskar. Certified yoga therapist and certified yoga teacher. My way of teaching is focused more on the therapeutic side. It's not that uh, I don't teach at once yoga poses. I do teach at once yoga poses. It depends on whether the student is ready. So I will not simply tell a student to do a headstand if I know that his core muscle is not strong yet or her uh, upper body strength is not strong yet. So this is why I always only teach the beginners because I only prescribe what is suitable for your body strength at the moment. But if this person is consistent, you can easily see changes in one month. I have a student who just started with me who cannot do split, but in one month, she is able to go to a full split effortlessly. It's just about being consistent. Okay, she's very consistent because she came to my classes four times a week. So we're talking about split, right? What are we going to do today is the preparation to go to a full split. So today we come to the 10th day of my uh, 15 days yoga asana challenge. I don't know what to do after 15 days. Maybe I have to think of something else to see you guys. So what are we going to do today is call a lizard pose. So it's really helped to uh, improve the flexibility, opening up your hip, it stretches your thighs, your hip muscles. And the one thing that is interesting is how to uh, reduce excess uh, belly fat. So let's uh, come to the mat. We will see uh, step by step how can we uh, going in safely and uh, coming out safely. Okay, let's come to the mat. We'll start with the right leg. So you're going to place the right leg in front. Bend the knee and place the left knee down. So you're going to slide to the back as much as possible. Now there are two ways of doing it. You can have the knee and the ankle one line. This is the uh, easier version. Or you can have it slightly further. That will be a little bit more stretch for the thigh. So how do we do it? Let's do it this way, the easy way first. You first place your palms on the mat. You'll start to feel the stretch on the thigh here. So when you are more comfortable, you can have the legs slightly outside to give room to your hand. You're going to stay here. When you're more comfortable, only we'll place the elbows on the mat. So you're just going to stay here for five breathing. Inhale and exhale, count one, until you finish the five breath. You feel the intense stretch here and also the back of the thigh. After that, you're going to place your palms back up and come back. Now we're going to sh I'm going to show you the other side which is a little bit more advanced. That means your, your ankle is away from your knees. So we're going to start with the hand. If you're more comfortable then we go down with the elbow. And we're going to do five breaths here. There's one thing that is very important to remember is this leg here. You see if your leg is the thigh is rolled out, that's very dangerous for the hip. So the thigh is always rolled in, then only you can do it in a safe way. Because the thigh has to point straight to the mat without opening up this way, and that's very bad on this joint here. Well, after we done five breaths here, you can come back and rest. You can do as many times as you want, if you want to be able to go to a full split, then you have to practice it more. Yes, just mean the knee will be on the floor. So if this is a little bit more advanced than the previous eight poses, but we will gradually add on so that your body can go further and further until we can uh, reach whatever poses we want. So who here ever had a dream that would want to go to a full split? That's type one. The other thing that I need to mention is 
that this one is only suitable for people who have no hip injuries. If you have hip injuries, you may not want to try this yet. Until you are healed, then only we will start to do this kind of poses. So you can actually feel it. It works on your thighs, it works on your hip, uh, work on your groin muscle, and it's open up your chest. So any one of you would like to try this, let me know. Send me a picture or a video. Then I can uh, tell you whether you do it right or not. Keep Keep learning from day one until now, you would have 10 poses. 10 poses is easily a really nice uh, workout that help you to improve your blood circulations. Improving blood circulation or fluid circulation is very essential at this time because it helps to improve your immune system. Oh wow, so someone can do a full split, that's not bad. So this pose is actually the preparation for that. You cannot just go to a split immediately because that may hurt your muscle, muscle toe. So it's always good to have warm up. Uh, your muscle is heated up, warmed up, or go to these kind of poses before you go into the full split. Okay, my time is up. I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.